All right, welcome to the Animate CC tutorials. Uh, a lot of this stuff is really similar to the Flash Professional uh, 2015 setup as well. So if you're watching this, you can probably do it on some of the older software as well. Uh, start by clicking ActionScript 3.0. Um, and this uh, tutorial is just gonna teach you how to use some of these tools on the right-hand side here. Uh, it should be pretty quick. Anyway, so let's uh, jump into it. Um, obviously, we got the timeline. This is where um, animation happens, I guess. Um, just say we want to draw a shape on our stage, which is this object right here. Uh, we grab one of these tools here. Uh, so line, shape tools, etc. I'm just going to grab this rectangle tool. Um, and you'll notice there's two options. You've got stroke and fill. Stroke is obviously the outline and fill is the part in the middle. You can change all kinds of things like if you want to make round edges or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to draw a box in the middle. Um, if I hold shift while I'm dragging this, it'll turn into a perfect square. Uh, but generally when we're making buttons for, I don't know, Android applications, they're usually rectangular. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's your shape tool. Um, if you want to select individual parts of this, you can use the top selection tool here. And if you click, you'll notice you can grab like the individual stroke and you could modify it if you really want to. If you, if you were to click and drag it like that, you'd play around with the shapes and all that kind of thing. But anyway, press control Z, don't do that. Um, if you want to grab everything here, you double click it and it grabs the fill and the outer stroke. Okay, you'll notice that because we've drawn something on our stage down here in our timeline, it's sort of been grayed out uh, on this little dot just down here. Um, and if I was to press delete on that, you could see that it is, the dot there is not filled in anymore. Um, and that means that there's nothing on our stage. So undo control Z to put that back where it was. Okay, um, those are our shape tool. That's our rectangle tool, sorry. Um, line tool, you can play around with things like stroke. You can do that with a shape tool too, um, but generally you do it with your line tool and you can make it a little bit fatter. Um, you'll notice that in Animate, stuff snaps. So what's happening right now is if I move it to there, you'll get this little circle around it. It means it'll like ping it to that corner and so on. So that's uh, kind of helpful when you're trying to make things uh, symmetrical and all that. Uh, what else we got here? We got the brush tool. Uh, this allows you to obviously draw things um, and it uh, new to animate uh, is that you can change things like scale um, in old old school uh, flash like CS4 and all that they didn't have this kind of stuff uh, so it's good considering like everything else can do it except for flash back in the day but anyway um, we've got this paintbrush tool here that has this smoothing option which is pretty handy um, so what you can do is increase the amount of smoothing and then it like auto smooths stuff makes it look a little bit neater um, every time I delete something I'm just pressing control Z to undo um, obviously our eraser tool here rubs out things etc etc text tool um, you just click on it draw a box on your screen you can start typing um, if you select it using control A or click and drag you can change things like size and color and font and all that uh, what is something that is important is if you want to like um, have text input or output in Flash, uh, you need to make sure you embed it using this embed option here and ticking at least these five options here. Um, otherwise, when you export it, the text won't work properly. All right, cool. Uh, paint fill tool. Uh, this obviously fills in something that has a border around it. Uh, what is interesting is that if you were to make something like your own shape, like this and if you left a tiny little gap like see how it snaps on like that if i was to go like this and not make it snap and even if i zoomed in even closer and only missed out by the tiniest little bit this would just not fill just say i went to there didn't actually touch it looks almost like it's touched and if i zoom out it sure kind of looks like it's almost there if you were to use the paint fill tool it wouldn't work. Uh, this is a pretty common problem that a lot of people will probably run into when they first start using Flash. They'll think, why isn't it coloring in? It's because they haven't snapped on. And if I was to go like that, voila, it works. Um, how do you change the stage background color? Uh, go to your selection tool or click on the properties, click on the background. And you'll notice that we've got stage color here. This is where you can change it. 
and it auto updates, which is pretty cool. We never used to do that. I hope no one's epileptic and watching this video because this is gonna hurt. Anyway, that's how you change the uh, stage background color. Awesome. You can resize your stage right here. So if you wanna make it, I don't know, 800 by 600, stage resize itself. Uh, last thing I'm gonna look at is just a common problem solving thing. Just say you actually move this out of the way maybe, or you might close it, or one of your windows gets stuffed up, maybe you close this accidentally, and then you're like, oh no, I can't figure out what to do. Um, like every other Adobe program, you go window, workspace, and then reset whatever it is that you're using at the time. I'm using essentials, so hit reset, say yes. It all comes back to where it was meant to be, and I didn't like this window, so I closed it. And there you go. Cool, uh, that's pretty much all I want you to do for the uh, basics tutorial. Um, if you wanna play with any of this other stuff, um, all you gotta do is experiment with it. So just click it, play with it, see what it does. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.